Yes. This is Physics 241 <coughs> Lab. This is Lab Number 9. Today's session we're going to cover Newton's Third Law. And the Third Law says simply for every uh, reaction there's an equal and opposite reaction. And in layman's terms, F equals minus F. For each action there's an equal and opposite reaction. And this is one of the more simpler labs uh, to do today's lab, we're going to simply use two force sensors and vernier software, and we'll be able to demonstrate that F equals minus F. We have five scenarios, in which case we're going to use the force sensors. The one force sensor we're labeling as number one, and the one to the right we're labeling as number two throughout. In our fifth scenario, we'll only be using one force sensor. Force sensor. What we do in the first scenario is two force sensors. We have a string in which attaches both of them, and we pull in opposite directions. And we want to see what the reaction is. In our second scenario, we replace the string with a rubber band and see if that makes any difference. And in the third scenario, we replace the rubber band with a stiff rod, again, attaching the two force sensors pulling them apart, seeing the reaction, seeing if it's the same as string and as the rubber band. In the fourth scenario, we also use the rod, but instead of pulling them apart, we push them together and see the reaction. And in our final scenario, we're only using one force sensor, and we're tying it to the leg of one of the tables in the lab, we're attaching it with a string, and we're pulling on it, and we want to see what the computer reaction is. And our data is pretty simple and straightforward. We generated vernier graphs of force against time, and the upper portion of the graph is a positive force, and the bottom portion is a negative force. Force sensor number one is labeled as such, force sensor number two is labeled as such, and the reaction for number one is in red, and the reaction for number two is in blue. And as you can see, this first graph represents four sensors, number one and number two, when we pulled with the string, with the rubber band, or with the rigid rod. It did not matter. We got mirror images of each other, the red and the blue. Force positive equals force negative. In our fourth case scenario, we had uh, number one and number two force sensors being pushed together with the rod. And you can see here, everything was reversed. The force sens sensor that was red, which was positive before, is now negative. And the force sensor that was negative before is now positive. So pulling action gave us this graph, pushing action gave us exactly the opposite. Finally, scenario number five, we only pulled on one leg, so we only had one sensor. And as you would expect, the graph is only reflecting one sensor, indicating that the pulling motion is felt by the leg, but there's no way to sense what the leg feels since we don't have any sensor on. And our ultimate conclusion from all this is simply force equals negative force. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. 